Hey everybody, Tim here. In this screencast, I'm gonna show you a quick GeoGebra hack, how to take any public GeoGebra resource you find and open it in the app that you want, whether it be classic, graphing calculator, geometry, uh, or 3D, okay? And continue working on that. Just think of what you do when you go to Google Docs, right? Or Google Slides, Google Sheets, whatever, Google anything, right? Many times you might have view access only. So what do you do if you wanna uh, edit the thing? You go to file, make a copy. Right, it's that simple. So in GeoGebra, it's kind of like analogous, same thing. So I'm gonna quickly share my screen and we're gonna rock and roll, try to get this video done quickly. So here we go. Now here's a classic example, right? I wanna add to this construction, say for example, right? Here it is, I mean, sure I could change the function here, but whatever, but I wanna add more stuff to it. I, there's no input bar. What do I do if I wanna open this up? Well, it's like view only, if you will, right? So what you do here is click the three dots in the upper corner and what you wanna do is go right here, open in app. What that literally is doing is just opening it up in, it opens it up in the classic app, but see the, the beauty here is that now you can continue working on this, whether you authored it or whether somebody else authored it, it doesn't matter, right? You can continue adding to this uh, construction right here. So let me maybe make us, I can make a sphere, for example, in here, centered here and whatever, right? So I added to it, now I can save it and do whatever. But now let's suppose though, I don't like, uh, I don't wanna use the classic app. Let's suppose I would rather, work in the 3D app because I like the structure of the tools better. Well, change classic right here to 3D and hit enter. Okay, I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna save those changes, but look at this. The same file that I found right over here, view only, I now have in the 3D graphing calculator and I can continue working on it right here as such. You see what I mean? I personally like the setup of the 3D app better because uh, the tools are organized by category. It makes life easier for people. All right, so that's, uh, again, a, a quick example. Let me show you something else quickly here. I go to GeoGebra Graphing Calculator. Let's say I'm in class and I'm making a sketch. I'm just gonna random put stuff here willy-nilly, right? There we go. Just mess it up a little bit. Do a couple circles, blah, blah, blah. Oh my goodness, the bell's gonna ring. I gotta save my work. So what do I do? I go here to File. I go to Save, and I'm just gonna call it uh, Quick Work. All right, Save. So now it says Saving down here, lower left corner. Ah, beautiful, Saved Successfully. So where the heck does this file go? I can close out of it, it is saved, right? What you need to do is go back to GeoGebra and go to your profile page right over here. All right, click on profile, let's go down a little bit and see, look at this, once it loads, give it a second, my Wi-Fi is a little slow. See quick work right here, I click on it, but you know what, this is like view only, this is just the way I left it. Now I'm in class tomorrow, I wanna continue as a student to work on my construction, well, I go here, I go to open an app, that's like Google file, make a copy, right? Now, that's the thing, but oh, no, 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 no. I don't want the classic app because I'm used, to, I mean, I was, I worked in the classic app for years, but the tools are all uh, bunched together differently. So if I go to classic and change the classic word to graphing, enter, look at this, it'll actually open it up in the same app in which you created it, which was the graphing calculator. Maybe you want a geometry. Maybe you like the organization of the tools in the geometry app. We'll change graphing to geometry and look at that. There you go, you will op it'll open now in the geometry app where the tools are still all there, but they're categorized slightly differently, okay? And of course, at any time, you could always go back to classic. Anytime working on a construction, just choose the app of your choice. Boom, it's that easy, okay? And continue working on it and having fun. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see here, uh, feel free to subscribe. And i uh, got a lot more GeoGebra hacks, how-tos and stuff in the weeks to come. So hope you're having a great summer and thanks for watching. Have a great day.